What are they doing in the boat, Kier? They're learning. They're growing. And most importantly, they're becoming more intimate with the one that has called them. If you're going to become a fisher of men, you have to become more intimate with the one that calls you. Because, Janice, if you're not more intimate, you could be doing your will calling to his. Right? We, we can say, well, I know God wants me to have everything, but real, and he want to bless me. The word says that, but we can go about it if we're not intimate enough. We won't even know when we hurt his feelings. There are a lot of believers, listen to me very clearly, there are a lot of believers that treat God like he don't have no feelings, no emotions, like he's a robot. You know, they say, well, he'll get over it. You know, they, I, I'll just go ask for forgiveness. Somebody say, God is not a robot. The Bible says you can grieve his spirit. Did you know that? You're going to nightclub, and, and he's he been telling you all day, don't go, don't go. I know it's your cousin's party. Don't go, don't go. And as soon as you step in there, you grieve him. And it's not because uh, he's looking for an opportunity to judge you. It's because he loves you enough to know that being in wrong environments, things can get attached to you that now it's going to take you longer to get to the place that he has promised you. Somebody say, he loves me that much. He doesn't judge me that much. He loves me that much. So for three years, look at what Jesus